Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to open an ISO or image file within, within your Parallels virtual machine. And we're gonna be using Windows 11 to do this, but it'll work the same on Windows 7 or Windows 10. Now, before we get into today's video, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have the links in the description box below. Now, if you have questions about installing Windows 11 on virtual machines or running Windows on Mac, we have videos covering those topics and we'll leave that in the description as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get started with today's video. All right, so the first step is I'm gonna go ahead and open up Parallels and launch my virtual machine. And here we are within Windows 11. And here on my desktop, I have Microsoft Project as an ISO. Now, as you can see, if I just double click to open this, sorry, there was a problem mounting the file. And at first you may be like, okay, well, what do I do? Like this could be very confusing, but there's a very simple way to get around this. And we're gonna start by opening up our browser and we're gonna type in 7-zip. 7-zip is a free extracting software and it's gonna allow us to unmount that image file. So we'll go ahead and press on download. And whether you're on a 64 or 32 bit system, will correspond to what link you press right here, but I'm on 64-bit Windows, so we'll download the exe file, and we'll go ahead and open that up. Then here we'll select yes, and press install. All right, and then once it's installed, we're simply gonna right-click on the ISO, and then we'll click show more options, and then we'll hover over to 7-zip, and we're gonna select extract files. Leave this as default is fine, we'll press okay and then we'll let this run. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a separate folder in the destination that you select. And inside that folder will be the contents of the image file, usually with an exe or something to run a setup from. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, if you're interested in Microsoft software at a great price, Check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.